Hi, I'm Marlon Walker and I am live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I am excited to talk to you guys about a new series that I have been um, doing a little bit of prep for. Um, the idea for this series is to do something. Um, the term that I came up with and that I think is appropriate is cozy mysteries. And the, the game is going to be Vasin Free League's um, game of Nordic supernatural horror and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's really a, a mystery game. Uh, the idea is to have two characters, Max Forsland, Maximilian, over here, and Edvard Linden over here, and they are going to go on adventures and solve mysteries together and generally be, um, you know, mystery-solving heroes who, um, yeah, go throughout the mythic north and um, find bad guys and, and deal with bad guys and deal with all the stuff that, all the basin that show up and all that sort of stuff. And generally, we're going to have a good time. Um, the core of this, there's sort of two main pieces that I've done so far, and then we're going to make characters for Max and Edford. Um, so the the two things that I've done is I've got one macro called the NPC generator, and it pulls from the gender table, the age table, the occupation table, and the demeanor table. So NPC generator right here, click on that, and it says this identif this NPC identifies as male, and it's of child age. If they're young adult or middle age, their occupation is artist. <laughs> They seem to be of hostile demeanor. So this is a really easy way to generate a new NPC. <gasps> Excuse me, on the fly. And then the other thing that I've got is the scene nature. So the scene nature table is three options. And it's um, basically it's a D20 roll. And what it does is that it tells us what the nature of this scene is. And that, I think, is something that a lot of... One of the things that I associate with kind of what I call cozy mysteries is that there's a lot of kind of lower tension or downtime scenes or events or things like that in the midst of a... Um, a story right that you have these kind of moments of reduced tension as opposed to sort of a thriller where you have just kind of building ratcheting up the tension the entire time getting you know more and more and more tension all of that sort of stuff that in in something cozy you have kind of build up to tension and then a sort of relax relaxation of tension and then another build up and then a relaxation and then eventually you get sort of the biggest build up to the climax but anyway, this macro, we just click on it and it says what type of tension. So next scene will be falling or low tension and we can click down here on scene nature, extended scene or climax. You have to roll a 20 to get that one, but rising or high tension, falling or low tension, rising or high tension, falling or low tension. You get the idea that this is a way to create story in the midst of solo play by just saying, okay, what's sort of the nature of this next scene and then playing through it. So anyway, that is that. So let's take a look at the character sheet. This is just the base Vason character sheet. Um, so we have Max Forsland who is going to be young and we need to choose. So we choose the age group for 15 attribute points and 10 skill points. So he is going to have what is 15 attribute points. That could be 333 three, three is 12. So 3333 three, three is 12, 14, 15, and maybe reduce his physique by one to up his empathy a little bit too. Um, so he's got logic and empathy as the highest. Um, let's actually do empathy as the highest one because I think that's what the, the writer uses if I remember. So um, attribute points and then we have skill points. There are, we have 10 skill points across the different skills. So we're going to do two, four, six, 
8 to 10. Uh, let's reduce manipulation by 1 to up. And we'll reduce vigilance also to up. Investigation to 2. There we go. So if we click on like inspiration, no bonus dice, uh, ignore conditions, no. Two successes on that inspiration check. So pretty good. We don't have anything for this stuff, um, this top stuff, and we might want to get a little bit. We could do, we could bump down one of them to do medicine up by one, I think. Maybe. Bump down. Well, no. No, I like it the way it is. I think I'm going to keep it like this and see about um, doing different stuff later. And then we need to choose an archetype and a talent related with the archetype. So I think we will choose writer. Um, do do do. And where do we, let me see. Characteristics, talents, three starting talents to choose from when you pick your character. So let's see, where is talents is here. The writer's talents. Uh, I think automatic writing would be cool. So, talents, automatic writing. Use inspiration to gain clues. All right, and then what else do we have for the player character? We need, we have an age, name, attribute points, skill points, talent, a motivation, a trauma, and a dark secret. So let's go to the writer and see if there's any good ones. Motivation. Um, motivation, I think researching a book sounds good. Trauma. Heard the song of the neck. Heard the song of the neck, but failed to write the lyrics. And Dark Secret. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's see if there's another one with a good Dark Secret. I like the officers cannot cope with filth and disorder. That seems good. That seems like a good one. All right, and then let's go back to your player character. Oh, Windows, stop that. Um, motivation, trauma, dark secret, relationship with each of the other PCs, role for mementos choose equipment resources so we'll have two resources i think because that's what you start with as a writer resources two to five yeah and then we will roll is there a D66 button on here? D66 button. 53. 53. Pocket watch with photo inside. I wonder who the photo is of. That'll be interesting. Um, mm hmm. have a relationship with each of the other player characters. Um, 
should be interesting without making you enemies. All right, relationships. Edvard, relationship. Um, Edvard saved my life once, and now I hope to do the same for him. So that'll be a good relationship. Um, do, do, do. And then what else do we have? We don't need advantage. We don't need the experience points stuff, archetypes. Hmm. All right, I think that is just about everything aside from equipment. Um, writing utensils and paper. And writing utensils and journal. Does that give us a bonus? I don't know. Let's see. Equipment. Memento is part of your character. Description, conditions. Hmm. I'll say that gives us a no bonus for right now. And then armor, none. Weapons, none. What about insights and defects? I don't know where we use those. So I haven't read through Vason with enough detail yet. I've been sort of doing the prep on this side and not... Um, doing the other prep anyway but that is max forsland um that's just a random name that i rolled and so i think what we can do is now go to edvard and see uh what he's gonna do he is going to be um middle-aged we're gonna open his thing up and i think he is going to be a hunter, maybe? A hunter or maybe an occultist, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see, but he's going to have 14 points for this, so that is 12. Wait, did I do the math correctly on max? Let's see. Two, three, four, five. Five plus four is nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. He gets one more, so let's do that for max. And let's lowers logic and up his physique just to give him a bit of balance. And then, so that's 12, 13, 14. That's 14 for Edvard. Max. Max depends on my skills and once I even saved his life all right hunter starts at resources two to four hunter motivation wants to bag some fantastic game trauma attacked by the branches of an ash tree wife and a dark secret um, yeah, I cannot control my fits of rage. That sounds great. Uh, 
All right, and then we get a couple of points for skills, 12 skill points. So let's do five, eight, 10, 13, 13, and we only get 12. So let's do, let's actually do no agility, one stealth. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, all twelve. Distribute points. We need a talent. Let's see what talent the hunter has. Hunter's talents. Bloodhound. That sounds great. Whoops, not what I wanted. Plus two. to Vigilance when tracking. And then for Memento, we will go to the Memento page and roll a d66. It's a 31. Silver cross on a chain. All right, equipment. What are we gonna get for the hunter? Hunting rifle. Hunting knife. None armor. Hunting trap. I don't know if we get all the equipment or just one of the things. So um, let's say we get all the things or options of the things, right? Utensils and journal. Binoculars for Max. And then let's see, do they have a skills? Where might items be? Physical and mental critical injuries, explosives, healing injuries, equipment. All right, ranking utensils gives us a one bonus. Um, opera glasses gives us a one bonus. Hunting rifle. is damage two. Rifle. Attack skill uses ranged combat damage two. Range one to three. Bonus plus two. Knife uses close combat. This one uses ranged combat, and it should stay this time. Knife or dagger does one damage. Range zero. Bonus of plus one. And then I'm gonna fill out on Max his unarmed attack. Unarmed uses force. 
damage one, range zero, bonus plus zero. Damage one, range zero, and no bonus. Excellent. So I think that is everything for our characters. We've got Edward and Max, um, who are going to go on Vason hunting adventures in the uh, the Mythic North. They're going to go have to deal with mysteries and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to create some more random tables before we get started as like, you know, start of the investigation type stuff, how to sort of start the process. But this is sort of um, the core of what I'm doing basically for this campaign is that I'm going to use the NPC generator and the scene nature rolls a lot to get information about what's going on. And um, generally we're gonna see if Max and Edward can, um, yeah, can can go uh, searching through the Mythic North to try to find some nasty basin or maybe some nasty people who are hurting the basin or who knows what else and uh, see what is going on there. So anyway, um, I hope everybody is enjoying this. I hope everybody is excited for this. I'm certainly really excited for this. It's uh, um, a really fun project that I've been working on. I haven't done a ton of work on it yet, but I have put in, you know, a little while on it. So I'm, I'm excited about it and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm rambling at this point. So um, I will end as I always do by saying that I've been Alan Walker. I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.